yeah, if we play tomorrow, we feel very good about where we are um, up front uh, with the O-line tight ends and the cohesiveness they have built together. And then with the, with the backs, right? I feel like we have a really good rotation of guys at the back that can stay fresh for, especially early in the season. And then if a guy gets hot, getting the rhythm, then we know that guy can go with it as well. So been really pleased with that throughout camp. Do you think your running back situation will be doing it by committee? Or do you have one guy you want to carry the load a lot? No, it's, it'll be a committee approach. And then, you know, the, as the game flows, right, and, a, and one guy's getting hot with the ball, then we can kind of cater things towards him. But the, the, the initial attack will be as a committee. Coach, we use more uh, flares out of the backfield this yeah. year to incorporate the speed of some of your backs? Yeah, that, that's a part of it too. You know, want to make the defense have to defend the field uh, horizontally and vertically. And uh, th those guys catch the ball very well coming out of the backfield. So whether it's flat throws or, or sweet uh, flares or whatnot, there's different ways to get, their, get them touches um, just uh, from running the football. Yeah. Yeah. Really situational and, and operation is where I've seen a lot of improvement. So in our second scrimmage with a lot of situations, you know, some uh, some third down situations, two minute situations, a couple of those, uh, some sudden change, just some different things that happen in the game and just the mechanics of it. Right. Not having any pre snap penalties and then the execution of, you know, whether the situation was we need a field goal to win the game or a touchdown to win the game. And both groups put us in a position to execute those two-minute drills. Yeah, I was going to say, third, third down, where do you guys feel like you did the most last year to this yeah. year, third down? How much was, it, was that an off-season emphasis? Yeah, for you guys that major, major, major off-season emphasis, you know, the third down conversion and red zone scoring. And that's been a point of emphasis in spring and fall. And so we put our guys in a lot of varying distances and downs, right, in the third down deal, with the short yards. And, you know, we don't want to be in third and longs, but those are going to happen. And put the guys in a situation to see how well we respond. And they did a good job responding, executing. And that's the key thing is execution, right? You know, and we've done a really good job this, this fall camp of executing in those situations. The coach said that Muskett will make the starting quarterback. Yes. What kind of went into that decision? You know, it's been a, a full, full on process. You know, obviously in the spring, it was competition, you know, with, with Jay, you know, his time being there at football, uh, along with Calandro. They knew it was, <coughs> it was open competition. That carried <coughs> carried into the summer, and, you know, a couple of things that stood out about Musket and really all the guys is just his innate leadership, right? Like guys migrate to him, guys migrate to Calandra. When Jay was on the team, guys migrate to him. That's what you want to see out of your quarterback. Uh, they really, really like the guys, right? And then, you know, some of the things they were doing on their own, and seeing how again just continuity that was building amongst those guys. And then we get in the training camp, like Musket continually was consistent every day, right? And, you know, through 15 practices, you know, that's that's a great accomplishment for him, you know, and, and taking care of the football, finding completions in the pass game, you know, getting us into a right check if necessary. So he checked the box and all those things. And then when you look at it, when we actually play football in practice, you know, when he was out there, we moved the ball, give us a chance to score touchdowns. And a, a credit to Calandria, right, because he did the same thing. He made a lot of growth from spring, um, from in the spring through fall camp, and his maturation as a player, you know, his comfortability as a player. So we feel really good about both of those guys, but with Tony being the starter. Your early prep for, for Tennessee, yeah. your offseason study, what, what stands out for you about their defense? <laughs> their front seven yeah. stands out. You know, uh, I know they've had a couple of acquisitions in the, in the transfer portal, so their roster will probably look a lot different than what it did um, at the end of the season, even in the spring. You know, some of their some of their guys did not participate in the spring game, which is understandable. So we have an idea of who uh, will be playing in certain spots. Um, haven't seen them in a Tennessee uniform, but structurally, you know, they want to try to crowd the box, stop the run. You know, with their front seven, um, they've got some, some secondary guys they've acquired too in the transfer portal. But you know, I like where we are to go out and have a plan to go attack them and try to win the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, again, the training camp injuries happen, and you don't want them to happen, or guys get nicked up. But in a positive spin on that, it's allowed us to take Uganda and move him from guard out to tackle, and he's flourished in that in that role as a tackle. It allowed a guy like Blake Steen, who could have been buried as a second or third interior guy, 
get an opportunity to go play tackle and show that he has the capability of playing tackle as well as in, inside. So give some position flex there, you know, where we feel like we have, you know, eight to ten guys going into this, um, and probably five to six of them having a lot of position flex. That if an injury arises, the guy's already got to work in training camp, and we're confident in him going to play in the position if necessary. Do you expect them to put a lot of pressure on the musket early? Just yeah, to see I, if can handle certainly it? I would. You know, it's the guy's first start, you know, um, first game of the year, right? Let's test test him and see, test the O-line, see if we can protect, test the quarterback, try to get him to move off his spot. So that's where everybody, all 11 of us, playing together to give us the best opportunity. It's not just going to be Tony Musket. It's not going to be the running backs. It's going to be all position groups playing together to give us the best chance to go out there and win. During fall camp, guys just get to focus on football. Yeah. And of course, they have school, everything yeah. else going on. What do you hope they carry over from fall camp into you know, regular practice? Well, one is their, their maturation in their uh, prehab and recovery, you know, non-football related, right? Take care of your body so that when we come back the next day, you can maximize that time that we have with you. And then there will be carryover. Obviously, there will be some game planning things specific for Tennessee, but for the most part, there will be a lot of carryover. And we still have, you know, week, two weeks of prep uh, with that. So we get them isolated in the morning time now, and it gives us a, a break from school in the afternoon that can focus on the academics. So I think we, I do believe we're in a really good spot uh, with that for the guys maturity-wise to handle that in, in, this, in this transition. All right. Thanks, Coach. We'll get yep. Coach Gaither up. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.